Find the value of k for which f has a critical point at x equals negative five. All right, so let's just remind ourselves what f of x and f prime of x were. They gave it to us at the top. f of x is equal to one over x squared minus kx, and then f prime of x is equal to all of this business. Let me rewrite it. Let me rewrite it down here. So f f of x is equal to one over x squared minus kx and f prime of x is equal to k minus 2x over, over x squared minus kx whole quantity squared. And we want to find the value of k for which f has a critical point at x is equal to negative five. So f has a critical point at x equals negative five. This means, this means that x, that means that x equals negative five is in domain. So this is in domain, which means our function itself is defined at x equals negative five. And it means that f prime of negative five is equal to zero or undefined, or undefined. A critical point is a member of the function's domain where the derivative is equal to zero or it's undefined. So let's evaluate f prime of negative five. F prime of negative five in terms of k is going to be equal to k minus two times negative five, minus two times negative five, all of that over negative five squared minus k times negative five. And then we want to square all of this and so this is going to be equal to k plus 10, k plus 10 over, we have 25, what is this, 25 plus 5k, 25 plus 5k plus 5k squared. So what value of k makes f prime of negative five equal to zero? Well, f prime of negative five is equal to zero if k is equal to negative 10. So that's a value of k for which f has a critical point at negative five. Now you might be saying, well, what values of k, that, that's the value of k that makes the function equal zero. It makes the numerator equal zero and therefore makes the whole function equal to zero. But why can't I pick a k, a value of k that makes, that makes the derivative, or it, it makes the, it makes the numerator of the derivative zero, and so therefore it makes the derivative equal to zero. I think I said function, not the derivative of the function. But you might be saying, well, why can't I pick a value of k that makes the derivative undefined? And so you could think of what that is. What would make this undefined? Well, if 25 plus 5k is equal to zero, well then this is going to be, you're gonna have zero squared, you divide by zero, it's going to be undefined. So you could say f prime of negative five undefined undefined if k is equal to what? Negative five, right? Five times negative five plus 25 is zero. But this, th if, if k is equal to negative five, then this can't be a critical point anymore. x equals negative five can't be a critical point because it won't be in its domain anymore. If k is equal to negative five, then f of x would be equal to one over x squared plus five x, plus five x, and then f will not be defined at negative five. And so negative five couldn't be a critical point because it's not even in the domain. So the important thing is, in order to be a critical point, it has to be in the domain, and the derivative of that point has to be equal to zero undefined. I can get the derivative to be undefined at negative five if we set k equals negative five, but if we set k equals negative five, then x equals negative five will no longer be in the domain. So we'd want, we want to go with the k that just makes the numerator of our derivative equal to zero, or sets our entire derivative equal to zero.